pharmaceutical group AMIN, which are quite important in. So the um, AMIN group is derived from a carboxylic acid reacting with an amine. So you take carboxylic acid and you react it with amine of some sort. And this is the functional group that you get. This is an amine. So it has some carbon-containing group, the carbon eel, and then that's connected to a nitrogen. Right. The amide group is planar. Um, the carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen are all in a plane. Right. Um, and they're very common in biology because that's how proteins are put together. When you have the links between amino acids, you're forming an amide group. So does everyone have the structural formula drawn? Mm -hmm. right. I just want you to, to be able to recognize that basic pattern. All right. So the peptide bond is an amide group. So I have lots of pictures of peptide bonds for you. All right. um, but that is you know, giving you lots of structure here. But you can see the amide group very clearly. So we love peptide bonds because that proteins are my favorite. All right. Now the name amides is quite simple. I think there's more than one nomenclature system in use for amides, so this is just the one that we're going to go with. All right. So you're going to take the parent alkane name. Add YL to the end and add amide. So we count carbons and add amide to the end. All right, so in this structure, how many carbons are present? Four. No, hold on, how many? Three. One, two, three carbons. Oh, yeah. So this is? Propyl amide. All right, there are three carbons, so it's propyl amide. How many carbons in this structure? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is hexyl amide. All right. How many carbons here? One, two, three, four, five. So this is pentyl amide. Good. Mm -hmm. Like I said, there is another naming system. I'm not going to show it to you, but this works for what we need to be able to do. Very simple amides. Obviously, if you have multiple functional groups or you know more complicated molecules, the naming systems get more is involved. There naming on the okay. Not there's not any official organic naming. You need to be able to do you know simple compounds. You know methyl, ethyl, propyl. You should be able to do like alcohols. But formally, it's not a mi really part of the exam. All right, so I think we're done with Organic Friday. Woohoo!